Now because OLED has that pixel level control, their panels are typically thinner, at least at the top of the screens. However, they sort of have that lower backside area that sticks out a little bit. And, you know, we can all have respect for that. But if you're gonna put one of these OLED TVs on the wall, it's not just that that thin piece at the top is what you're gonna see, you will still see the entire thickness of the TV. So it's kind of a trade-off. It looks cool on a stand, sometimes hanging it, you kind of defeat the purpose of having that thin screen because it has that area. And a couple of the newer OLED TVs like the LG G3, you know, that looks really cool when it's on the wall because it is about three quarters of an inch thick. So awesome looking TV. On the other hand, QLED TVs are generally thicker overall because they have that backlight system that needs depth to shine through this screen. Mini LED QLEDs are even thinner because they have smaller lights in the back, but they still have that minimum three quarter inch depth. 